A very good morning to each and every one of you. FYI, it is September 5th. Believe it or not, for your information, thanks for joining our morning program. Wherever in the world you're joining us from, good to have each and every one of you here. Hope your day is off to a running start. Hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Good to see each and every one of you. Uh, Tabby is going to be joining us in just a second. You know, guys, we're so grateful for this period we have had her. It has been summer. And Tabby, as you know, is a mother, wife, and many other hats uh, that we have. Those are some of the most important. And um, she has to go back to the daily grind from next week. And so she might not be on with us every single morning. But we're grateful nonetheless, nonetheless, for her company uh, ever so often. And Tabby is going to be here with us in just in just a second. Um, I'm seeing her uh, powdering backstage, and as soon as she <laughs> gives us that thumbs up, we're going to have her on. Good to see Tabby here with us this morning, and I think I think she's ready. And if she's ready, we are ready as well. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, good to have Tabby, as I said, here with us again this morning. Tabby, how are you doing? Good morning. Uh, I'm good. A second how are you? At camera. <laughs> I'm good, All Tabby. Right. How are you doing at your end? I, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. You know right. what happened on my end, but I'm good. All right. I'd love if you can tilt the camera a little bit for us. A little bit down right. so we are on the same shoulder level. Um, okay, thank well, you so much. Leave. You have to pull me out. All right. Good. Okay. Right ahead. <clears throat> Folks, you're welcome. <clears throat> pull up a cup of something with us this morning. Coffee, tea, Milo, tea, tea, tea. Whatever you're having, pull up a cup of something. Pull up a chair too. We got a couple of things we want to share with you guys. And then we hope that you can. Go ahead and go off and have a fantastic day. Most of you have probably started the day hours, hours before. You know, as big people, they start at four. But good to have each and every one of you, as we said, on the live this morning. It's a privilege uh, to have your company here all the time. Uh, if Tabby's ready, we're going to pull her back in. Um, so, surprise, surprise, I'm pulling her back in. We're going to take what we can get. You're going to push that screen down a little bit for us yes, no problem. and we're gonna wait for for what for, for what but tabby how are you doing at your end what's going I'm, on there in gt <laughs> i'm doing okay sharon i'm doing good i woke up early but apparently anyways but i'm here i'm good all is well uh the sun is hot today um so we don't we're not having any rain it's a it's very hot uh we still have a lot of the heat wave um and so i'm battling with the heat but mm -hmm. outside of that, we're okay. Um, some persons have gone out to school. Uh, my kids are not going out to school until next week. So um, they're still at home with me. Uh, so that's that's where I'm at at this point. How are you? Oh, my. So you're juggling, uh, being on and monitoring them too. That is, <laughs> that, that, that's a tough feat. Got to give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. I have help. I have help. I'm not completely alone. So that, that helps. <laughs> I'm grateful you have that because you know what? We need that. We need that. And as you're talking about the heat there, um, we're seeing that in London, in Britain, uh, they have um, some very high temperatures uh, across the UK there. Some very, very high temperatures. And we did see a couple of programs back. They're advising us in this a part of, the, of this hemisphere we are in that our temperatures will continue for another few months. So don't think it's going to get abated with, the, um, with summer behind us. That's not going to happen at all. So we're watching that. Yes, I think um, you see this whole idea, as I think we spoke about before, about climate change and what it means and what it represents. And uh, sometimes we take it for granted uh, that, you know, climate change is not real because it was at that point when there was a lot of discussion about it, the place was actually getting very cold. I don't know if you remember when the, the, the discussion first started, they had the coldest winter in, um, in, in, in North America. And so persons were wondering, what what climate change means and stuff whether it's real or so and so now we're getting the other side of it is that you may have some very very cold winters and some very very hot summers um or in you know and so we we're dealing with a heat wave that unlike what i have seen in my lifetime um and speaking to my mom right. she she's never um had it this bad and so we have to figure out ways to, 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 to respond to it and so you know there are ways in which they're trying to mitigate um, the uh, you know reducing or um, the, the 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 ability of us the work the, the fossil fuels how we use fossil fuels how we use all of those things that affect climate change 
um, to sort of reduce the, 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 the levels of the temperatures um, in the oceans and what we, what we have now to deal with, which is the heat, um, uh, the amount of sun that we have to um, deal with on a daily basis. But we still have to yeah. continue living and surviving yeah. and using our fans and ACs <laughs> as much correct, as we can. Correct, 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 you know. Uh, good to see Beatrice is on, is on the live. I share those sentiments, Tabby. Good to see Margaret Nelson is on the live as well. Beatrice Selby, Margaret Nelson. I see Veronica Primo Rollins is here with us. Good morning, Veronica. Rohan Basantram is here too. A lovely Lily is here. And a whole host of other folks. Osman Edwards. Good to have you, Osman. Cheryl Bascom. Greenwich is here with us too. Good to see you, Cheryl. And all the other folks joining us. Gloria Chester. Gloria, how are you doing? Folks, I am um, Gloria's good cooking. It still left an impression on me. I was over at Gloria last Christmas. Had some lovely um, uh, black cake, among other things. Gloria, black cake sell off, you know. Gloria, the black cake still, still on my <laughs> mind. <laughs> like, just, just like the spread I had at Margaret's, you know. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> no matter where Chinese here, go, they can still cook. No matter, <laughs> no matter where Chinese are. No matter where guys are, we, oh, can yes. cook. we can still cook. That's one thing agreed, that we always... Agreed, <laughs> agreed, agreed. Tracy Clark, we see you too, Tracy. Donna Joseph, Erwin Don Cook, good to have you folks. Um, Debbie Collins says she's hearing us loud and clear. Good to have you on the live, Debbie. Good to see you there. Anthony Leon is here too. Tabby, can they see young? Can, can they, they see? see? How are you doing? Good morning, good morning to all the viewers. I can't see anyone at this point, but good morning mm -hmm. to all of those uh, who are joining you. us. You don't worry. <laughs> to all you of those worry, joining Gabby. us. Like, Sharon, I actually met uh, over the weekend, I met a, a, a young man who looks at the show religiously and he was very happy to see me. Um, and, you know, <laughs> discussing some of the issues that, uh, he, he, you know, we, we generally speak about. And he had some questions about what is happening with the elections petition. So I told him that I was going to try to get some of that inform information for him. So, but it was good to see, good to see those of us, um, those of yeah. you who are coming on live. Yeah. Uh, is, and, and, Tabby, and, and following Sherry Duncan. Uh, Tabby, there is, a, there is an article, a, a recent update on that, on our website. That article is on our page. You wouldn't have to scroll too, too far. Um, there's an update on the petition. 88 is before the Court of Appeal. And, yes. and, and it's been stuck there for a little bit. But we did do an update on that. And that can be had on our Facebook page. Guys, I want you to bear just for a quick second. We need to switch uh, from Wi-Fi over to, um, what do you call it? Um, the other, the other method. <laughs> Ethernet. Ethernet. <laughs> so give us, a, go, give us a quick sec. And we are going to be right back. A quick sec. All right. One of us doing any 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 craziness there. <laughs> One of us doing any craziness. But guys, we got quite a few things to share with you this morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the hundreds of you who are already tuned in. We have about 500 persons watching us across social media. And we are so grateful that you guys choose to make our morning program here a part of your morning ritual. We are so grateful for that. Um, one of the things we we're following this morning... As you know, we're starting internationally. Uh, the folks in Ukraine say they're making some progress uh, because, um, let me quote here, um, one of the lines, the supply lines, opening up, named after one of the generals there who um, who uh, is in this area on behalf of Russia. This is the, uh, uh, the Sorovikian line. Um, the Ukraine has been able to make some advances in this region over the last four months um they say out of the blues a photograph with, with the general in which the line is named after this is an area you, you know a supply area um that the uh, russians have been trying to cut off um supplying the ukrainians the the ukrainians have been able to make some advances in this region this is the survikin line um they say and now out of the blues the general that the area is named after has appeared with, reappeared 
with Vladimir Putin. He's Putin's boy in that area. You know how the, the, the kind of puppet regime that occurs here and our boys have learned after. And um, so the, um, the Ukrainians are celebrating the, uh, this advance. Small as it may, you take the victories as they come. Yes, that's, that's an inter interesting development, um, which is not a good look for Russia if, if Ukraine is um, able to hold back a, 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 a particular part that is named after a Russian general. Um, it can't be better than that for, uh, for them on their side. So um, let's yeah. see how it keeps going. We, 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 we yeah. at least some, some, there, there's making some headway. Um, yeah. This, you know, sometimes you get into an altercation and you think it's going to be two days and you end up in it longer than you anticipated. Um, and, and so we are just looking to see how this will all end. Yeah, you know, uh, Tabby, that is a, that is a powerful note there. You know, the Russians thought this was going to be a, a short stint. Um, this was going to be a walkover in a couple of days and they were going to annex Ukraine. You know, a year plus later, here we are bogged down in this war. Um, hundreds, if not thousands of lives, billions of dollars yeah. certainly um, spent in perpetuating this war against Ukraine and Ukraine trying to repel um, Russia. And, you know, monies could be better spent. I just say yes. that. And when, yes. after the Second World War, we promised we weren't going to go back here again. We weren't going to go back to uh, nations fighting nations. And here we are yet again. Here we are yet again. But I guess um, some progress is better than no progress at all. Yeah, ho yeah, and hopefully it comes to an end pretty soon. Yep, yep, yep. Hoping, hoping. Uh, Tommy Gibbs, we see you there. We see Carol Rollins. Debbie Jack. How are you doing, Debbie? We have, usually have lots of Debbies. Debbie seems to be a very, very kind of common name. We see Debbie, Debbie Jack, Debbie Collins. You see that? Um, and Elizabeth Kit is here too. Robin Narine is here. Good to have you. Robin and Joan Chase. I see Sharon Mercurius is here too. Kyle, but you know, Kyle, how are you doing? Kyle is one of the regulars too. The set of regulars on um watching us this morning. Joshua Campbell is here too. And David Wood, I see Erwin Don Cook is here as well. Good to see you, Erwin. Uh, 600 plus watching us now. Truly privileged. Claire Alexis, a charmly rich man is here. Claire, how are you doing? Claire, how do you guys enjoy Labor Day at your end? Do let us know, Claire. Do let us know. Margaret, how, how was your visit? How is it going? How is it going, Margaret? Good to have you and have you on the live this morning. Anne-Marie Selby is here too. Good to have you, Anne-Marie. And I got to call plenty of these names because Tabby uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing June Chase. I'm seeing June Chase. Good morning. Good morning, Paulette Kippins. I'm um, good to see you. Um, Sharon Mercuria, stay focused, my beloved people. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, Diane Johnson. Yeah. Good morning, Diane. It's good to see you. Oh, Legend Serenade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Margaret says her um Margaret says that her trip is going fantastic. Margaret is in New York. Uh, for Labor Day weekend and, and no doubt having a fantastic time. We've been following the, the photos at our end. Good to have you on, Margaret. Legend Serenade, folks. Uh, this is in California. Um, Deanza is having a world tour. She's touching lots of the states here in the U.S. of A. She was in South Carolina, where I am uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, but not as close um, where I could get in there quickly. Um, but... Quickly. Uh, as that tour, the U.S. end of it at least closed off in California. Yesterday, she was joined on stage by another legend, Diana Ross. Um, if you're too young to know who Diana Ross is, it's all right. You got homework for the <laughs> You got some homework. And one of the things that Beyonce said is that, you know, she is who she is because of uh, folks like Diana Ross. And Beyonce, you know, I was, I was watching... Uh, Tabitha, I don't know if stars age differently, but I was, I think it was like the other day I was watching Beyonce turn 25 and now she turned 20, uh, 44, you know, so I don't know. I hope the notation was wrong there, right? <laughs> but Beyonce turned 44 and um, on, on, on uh, 42, sorry, still, still it was like the other day. Um, and so um, Diana Ross was there celebrating with her. Or forty second birthday. Well, tell me, I know you far off from you. You, you're young yet in this business. Young yet you're in this business. You're trying to get me to tell my age, Sharon. Yes, yeah, size is differently. You know, we were talking just last evening too about 
uh, the artist Cher. Cher is 77 and Cher looks fantastic. You well, know, people say it's plastic. There are lots of things going on, Cher. There are lots of things. There are lots of things going on there. But yes, when you're once you have access to resources, then you know how to eat well and you know exercise. The the people who are in charge of ensure that you stay healthy. Um, as so you know that also helps in your aging process. We we tend to have fun and eat all sorts of things, not recognizing that that affects our the way we look in the long run. Um, and so you know those stars have a lot of people who are guiding them in those things and they're exercising daily, they're eating right. And so they look better longer, but yeah, they still have some help. They still have some help. <laughs> they have lots of help and it doesn't, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, well, it only helps when you're in a first world country, you have superb health care. That's yes. on the whole. And if you get to live in a very nice area, like we are here, um, thanks to my, my hosts in South Carolina, you know, it's picturesque. Um, your quality of life is improved just by the surroundings. Yes. And, you know, Beyonce looks fantastic at 404. Diana Ross herself looks amazing, too. I know I, I, I can't pinpoint her exact age. I know she's over 60. Yes. Um, and right up there with Cher, looking fantastic. But you see where you got peace of mind in this life? Yes, you get peace of mind in this life, Tabby. You got some jagabats. You got some crosses to deal with when they come. <laughs> you going to look good. <laughs> It's so happy house. 42, Beyonce said 42, you know. Lots of our viewers look amazing too, you know. Um, one morning we started talking with age here and people start chewing out the age. I said like, a lot of plastic on this, um, on this, in, in these comments too. A lot of plastic and Botox in these comments too. <laughs> so y'all don't got nothing on, um, on share. Y'all don't come around share funny. Somebody's you know, asking me whether 70, I'm 71 and so on. And looking great. Don't come around share funny. <laughs> You know, Margaret, and, and you all still throwing out on some beaches in, in your two piece and so on. Real house, I'm in there. I want to, I want to answer Margaret. Margaret is asking whether I think it's all cellular. Well, no, Margaret, that's why I said they have a lot of help. It might be medical help, some sort of help, but you know, when, when you have the resources, you can access a lot of things that we ordinary folks can. Plenty, plenty help. And, and you know what, Chabi? Healthy eating is expensive. Yes, if it is. you want to live healthy, eat healthy, problems right there. Yes. You know, so there's that. So again, happy birthday to Beyonce and all the fans. A tremendous talent. Look, can they see Young say 49 one time? Throw it in your chest. 49 and looking good, right? I think, can they see black don't crack? <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda says, all natural as it comes at 62. You try with yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. You awesome. try with That's that. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. All natural at 62. Looking great, folks. Keep it up. I find you eat a little healthy. You try a little exercise routine. I planned an exercise routine. But I says rest, exercise, and I'll do the shows in between intermittently. We on every single day. Right? The exercise went out the window. You know? Eating everything that crossed my path. <laughs> what, 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 what happened to the exercise, Sharon? Vanessa De Silva, in other news, Vanessa De Silva says <laughs> 42 and loving it. You see that? 42 and loving it. Right? Three scores and two. You see, down and down and try to kerfuffle us now. Three scores and two. That's now I gotta go back to the back of the exercise. The score? score is 20. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's the score now? <laughs> you know? Uh, Ross Ricardo <clears throat> says Pat Green is 86. Look, look, story here now. I want Pat Green come on and say she's 86. <laughs> Choppy. He's not going to put me in problems. Right? <laughs> Facebook user, that's all I get. Facebook user, I know this is the age of Facebook or is the age of the user. Happy at 7 to 4. You see that? Happy you see what Randy Cole told you, Sharon? Huh? He said you're on a seafood diet. S-E-E, Randy Cole. Oh, 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 oh uh, S-E-E, <laughs> correct. That kind of seafood diet. <laughs> A seafood and eating it. Raquel Gentle says 52 and loving it, right? Then is, um, says, <laughs> only it. them knees. <laughs> Ganesh says I'm 34 and looking old, ashamed. <laughs> <Ganesh>. <laughs> um. <laughs> Good morning, Guys, Ganesh, my you're a special 34-year-old. We love you. 
<laughs> Ganesh, no comments. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, I, I didn't think I, I didn't think uh, um, I didn't think I shape up too bad at part of four. Um, but I want to look even better. So you know, I gotta get in the exercise and suffer this uh, seafood diet. <laughs> you know, Carol Rollins says man. happy at 56. Excellent. Excellent. You see, we big. We big. But we got to turn to flesh. Have you know what I love? You know what I love, Shara? That the, um, the, it was this time where women were afraid to say their age. And oh, this, yeah. You know, it was something that you shouldn't divulge and stuff like that. And the fact that I'm seeing a lot of women oh, you know, yeah. saying that they're happy with their age and how they look at their age, I think, yeah. is exemplary that you move past that. Um, so that that's, Maxine I, I, says, I like that. I like that. Maxine says 16. And, sorry, 63. And the feeling... 16, yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, six, feeling 16, 63, Maxine Monroe. Gil Alicox says 65, and I love it. Correct is right. Correct, Correct is right. Malafan, there's a whole on. Carmichael treat in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Orin Don Cook says 67, I'm proud. I love it. 67, love it, love I'm proud. It, it. We got a plan of big people meet up. Well, Tabby, you know you can um, come in a couple of years. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 35, <laughs> as you will know. I'm 35 and I'm proud of my excellent, age. Excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent. You um, you you are Beyonce Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Collins says I'm blessed with my with my turtle at 62. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie with the turtle flesh. <laughs> Good to have you, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> Bless with my church with 62. <laughs> Robin says 58. Robin Narain, 58. You see, once we go along this road, the show done, you know. <laughs> we can't come back from here. Uh, but folks, folks, happy that all of you are loving your age. Um, Orin Dunn has thrown some shade at you there, Tabby. She says, Tabby, at 35, you got a lot of catching up. With. <laughs> 35 you, years young. <laughs> Yes, I have a lot of a lot of catching up to do. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> yes. All right, folks. I we did tell you guys the functional kitchen. In regional news, Dominica is about to have a new president. It's the first female, and I, I, I think it's the first indigenous. Um, she identifies as part of the indigenous, is part of the indigenous community there in Dominica, folks. Um, and this in particular is let me let me get the name all right. Because we do promise uh, credible, valid information they sent. Um, Silvini Burton is the name of the islands, um, this representative of the island's indigenous population here, who's going to be the 11th uh, head of state, the ceremonial head of state here in Dominica. For the most part, you know, the uh, power is wielded by the uh, prime minister, um, who is Roosevelt Skerritt, and they're looking forward on September 12th uh, to having this appointment ratified by Parliament for a 10-year term. The current office holder is uh, President Charles um, Sar uh, Saverin. President Charles Saverin there in Dominica. Again, the, the, the um, ceremonial head of state is the president. And then you have the, the real power being wielded by the Prime Minister. But nonetheless, congrats to Silvini Burton, the incoming president there in Dominica. Yes, congratulations. It's always good when you have a female at the head um and um kudos i just knew to... you'd say that i just knew <laughs> Congrat um i say congratulations and thank you to um uh, prime minister roosevelt skerritt for going in this particular direction um you know sometimes there, there are those who think that women cannot lead and um I, I'm, I'm very happy that he has recognized the leadership qualities of um sylvani burton and that she's now raised to this particular helm and i wish her the best in her um in a new capacity and that she does well i, I pray that she does well yep and I, I i welcome more women in politics you know i welcome more women in politics um men like to have committees and committees and committees too much testosterone gets to women just get stuff done <laughs> just get stuff done all right that being said again congrats to balance to the testosterone right same thing <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to the people there in um, Dominica on that front, the incoming president. And in the 592, well, you know, once we get stateside, 
what happens. But Shara, just just to confirm, huh? um, the help people to understand that the the position of president in Dominica, Dominica is still a Commonwealth, um, and so they they're not a republic, so they didn't vote for the president, so it's not an executive president as we have here in Guyana. The still head of government is still the prime minister. So just like how Trinidad has a ceremonial president, so to speak, Dominica now has a ceremonial president. So this But is but Tabby, hold up a second. You 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 certain our head of state is the president or is or is the um I don't even think he's the prime minister these 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 these, these days. <laughs> Why are you sipping your tea, Tabby? <laughs> I don't think we're a good example of a probably. president being a head of state. I don't I'm think probably that's not. Huh? You somebody probably. else. <laughs> Not what, a good example. And, and, and basing it on what should be happening here in the Oh, what Amazon. should be <laughs> is an aspirational thing. All right. That being said, you know, we're monitoring the accidents again. Um, gentleman lost his life yesterday, was riding on one of those e-bikes, recently regulated, um, and came into contact with another vehicle. Another vehicle came into contact with him. Um, and so we lost the pensioner yesterday. Uh, he is, let me make sure I get the information correctly. Um, again, it's just the carnage and the roads that we are that we are following. And folks, slow down so we can arrive alive. Please and thank you. Slow down. Yes, yes, please. I, I know we have to say this every day. Um, please slow down. Please look out for others. Um, please look out for those who may not be looking out for themselves. Um, for those of us who are. Uh, more concerned about what happens on our roadways, we have to also do our best to ensure that we're looking out for those who are not really looking out for themselves as much as we can. Eh? Um, and so, yeah, condolences to the family members of this um, pensioner who lost his life. And we could only hope that this reduces significantly. And with the children on the road, I implore us, oh my, with, our, with lots of children are now out to school, they'll be a lot of the young ones walking to school and walking home from school and catching um, the public transportation. Please, bus drivers, please, you know, take heed that it's not just about you and, and making an extra dollar. It's the lives of all of those who are in that transportation with you that you have to take into consideration when on the roadways. And, and Tabi, just by way of a little more information, this is 73-year-old Abdul Mohammed of Harlem West Coast, Demwara, and he was killed uh, going along the Harlem Public Road yesterday. He said he was operating a, an electric bike when it crashed into a motor car that was being driven by a 26 years. Talk some prayers with the family, and we can all yeah. do better if we slow down. You know, Slow down and arrive alive, that's what we said at this end. Yes, yes. Agreed, yeah. agreed. So talk some prayers with his family. Why, Jack, you don't want to pay, Annette? Uh, your parliamentary colleague. You know, lots of us watching this thing you know, soon as Annette come in with this windfall, hey, Annette, I was a cousin, you know. You know, long now. <laughs> $20 million was awarded to Annette Ferguson, Member of Parliament, I think through a liable suit, slander liable suit. Um, and Jack, you don't want to pay this money um, over to Annette. Annette got to see some of his property, you know. I heard the AG um, advising that. Seize the property. Um, yeah. According to Starbuck News, two years after being slapped with a $20 million default judgment and filing a series of appeals in a bid to evade the payment to former government minister Alex Ferguson, who he defamed by his president, Jack, has found himself back at having to honor that initial ruling and whatever award for damages will be imposed against him for liable. Right? Savak News says the Court of Appeal yesterday dismissed motions which Dagnew had filed against the initial High Court order. The information here suggests that the, the Court of Appeal uh, has ordered that the matter be remitted to Justice Sandra Curtius um, there at the High Court um, for award of damages in this libel suit. A date has now been fixed for the case to be called before Justice Curtius. Dagnew, in turn, is asking for special leave to appeal the matter before the full court. Yep, don't want to pay the money. You want to talk all kinds of stuff with people. You know, slam the people, libel people. But you don't want to pay the money. Come on, man. We know you got deep pockets. You can build the house because you save. You know, and so I said. You know, and, um, that the congratulations to Annette. I, I, you know, she's she's stuck, sticking to it. And um, 
I, I see that the, the vice president is going to try his utmost best to stall the ruling, having a, you know to deal with the ruling of the court. But the court is basically saying that he has to. So now let's see what the full court says on this particular matter. I think it's the the, 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 the well, everybody has a right to, to to exhaust the court. So um, don't let me go down there. Everybody has the right to exhaust the court, and so he's not going to full court, and we will await with, with with the results of that. Yep. So there's that happening, but but you know, Tabby is the hypocrisy because on the other side, the AG fighting down others who have contested against them in court matters and lost. You know, pushing for seizure, uh, for seizure of the assets and all that is the hypocrisy for me. Yes, it is. But uh, the, well, what what can we expect for the like of those on the other side? Hypocrisy is their middle name. Propaganda, hypocrisy. Yep, no doubt. Um, I, I don't see the full court reversing this, but again, this is Guyana. So let's see what happens. And hopefully, hopefully our colleague and Ferguson is going to be smiling all the way to the back. Hopefully, but we're watching that. I, I hope she does. I think she'll be the happiest woman alive. Yeah. And I hope she remembers your friends, and, especially those who aren't wealthy. No, but it, I think it's even more it's more than just the money, you know, because the, the this idea by the PvP that they can just slander people, they can just say anything about people, and people believe it because nobody responds in the way that she was able to do, which is to take him to court on on, on, on the stuff that he has said. I think she also, it was either uh, um, Annette or somebody else that took, uh, what's his name, the Minister of Labor to court and also won that case as well. I think German also won a case against somebody on that same libel matters. And so we have to keep doing this to help them to understand that you can't just go and libel people and expect that it will just be okay. You know, Annette in particular, as you said, has, has won a number of judgments against um, PPP members and in true Jagu fashion, lots of them are evading. You know, by the time Annette is finished with them, she probably be the first real billionaire our country has. There's so many judgments have been awarded to Annette. And this is just one of them. $20 million. And he run in. He run in every Thursday, Slandomania by Jagu. Bork is a criminal. This body's a thief. This but you know, it's Slandomania. Right? But Annette is taking the time. Take them to task. Yes. And once several times, as I said. In the court, yeah. So that's so one of the things we're following. The court. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things we are following. In mm -hmm. other news, in other news, <laughs> this one is this one is interesting. Prime Minister Mark Phillips is accusing uh, Shadow Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Shadow Royal Ford of trivializing slavery. This is the badness here. Royal Ford trivializing slavery, and hear what he's saying. He's saying because Roysdale said quite recently um, that I want to, I want to, I want to quote um, basically that the PPP uh, we didn't finish the slavery because here's the PPP continuing in many instances, you know, with things that look almost identical to slavery, and he has written a letter asking for others to condemn uh, Roysdale Ford for trivializing slavery. I want to get the quotation to which. He is alluding. I, I thought we'd capture it. Give us a quick, give me a quick say. I want to, I want to quote from that so people can decipher for themselves, you know, the foolishness that we're getting at. He's, this is what is attributed to Roy Zill Ford, according to uh, the rubber staff. I mean, the prime minister. And um, he said that sadly, this is what they're, they're contending. This is what Roy Zill Ford is a left have said. Sadly, in the 21st century independent Guyana, in 21st century independent. Guyana, the Ali government in many ways is not different from the colonial masters and enslavers. And they're taking exception to that. They have the nerve. They got the temerity. The gumption. <laughs> Tabby? I, I, I read this, I read this um, letter by and as I was reading it, I said, let me go to the bottom to see who actually wrote, wrote this letter. It was similar to the um, another letter that was written um, a couple of days ago, uh, trying to uh, attack Royce Ford uh, for some statement similar to this, but it had no real basis. You couldn't get a sense of what exactly a professor was trying to say. And it continues here. It's like if they need to respond in some way, 
um, to, to, to what um, senior counsel has said, but they can't find any sensible way to respond to it. And so they come with all of these statements that make absolutely no rational sense. Um, the fact is that what senior counsel report said is accurate. In the 21st century independent Guyana, the Ali government in many ways is not different from the colonial mass because in the way in which they, 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 they're they governing the country, the way in which they, they're approaching the, the, the lives of, of the African Guyanese in society, uh, they're trying their best to keep them from being able to access resources, um, to keep them oppressed, they're discriminating against the African Guyanese population, they're victimizing the African Guyanese population. And so, um, yes, it's, they, they're not shackled, we are not shackled as a people, but we are still feeling as though we don't have the ability to reach our highest potential under this current administration. And so Mark Phillips' um, letter has no merit. Um, and, and I don't even think he himself believed what it is that is written here, but he just, somebody told him that he has to respond. And so he had to put something together and send it out to Starbuck News. But it's interesting, you know, it's interesting that they would wheel out a whole slave <laughs> To say that we're trivializing slavery. It's a very interesting, unless you um, very correctly articulated, Chanza, when you look at the actions, not the words, the actions exactly. of the PP, you get to understand what uh, Ford, um, see the Council Ford, if these words are correct, was alluding to. We were there. They said recently, oh, um, reparations, and they, they're all for reparations, and slavery was horrible, and all that. But Lincoln Lewis, who we'll talk about in a second, his family can trace their genealogy right back to slavery. Got even got the the um, the paperwork yeah. for the lands that were purchased at Kingley, you know, by their forefathers. And he'll tell them, kick down the fence. You don't worry about that. That's nonsense. Kick down the fence. When you look and see the mass firings from the public service, you're closing down the nursing school in Linden because they got too many nurses. From Linden, but you open one in region six, in region three. When you look at those things, you know, you a, a, a narrative begins to form. It's not us doing that, right? When you look and see who gets in the work, who gets in the contract, you know, Nigel Hughes documented on our very platform here, you know, who gets in the contract, who gets in the work, friends, family, and favorites, and all of that, it begins to paint a narrative. So, what Ford has. Whereas it says, or is, is a list of said, resonates with a lot of folks, Tabby. Yes, and, and, and what I see the PP is attempting to do is conflate two issues here. You see, the statement made by Senior Counsel Ford happened before the Gladstone family actually came. There was an event that happened in Boxton where he made a statement at August 1st, the event that was happening in Boxton where he made the statement um, dealing with August 1st and emancipation and where we are now as a people, as an African um, a people in Guyana. And so he made a statement, they're dealing with the issues of the fact that Exxon Mobil is here and we have so much resources. And so the government can through use the, the monies that they're getting through Exxon to help with the reparations process because it's coming from the oil giants. Um, and so they're trying to conflate that with the Gladstone family coming um, a week or so after and, and apologizing for their family's role in slavery. And so they're trying to make it one as if um, Senior Counsel Ford was responding to whatever was happening with the Gladstone family, which is not what has happened, what, what, what was the reality of the situation. Um, and so what, what Guyanese, I think, need to get here is that the PPP has found themselves in a hole. Because the reality is that you can speak about reparations, that reparations are good, and then there's another context to it that we won't go into today as to who, who requires reparations. But you can speak about reparations and talk about it, but when it actually has to, to happen and people are given views on how it is that you can help this reparations process, then it becomes an issue. And so Senior Council for is trivializing slavery. And it, it, I think it goes to show the, uh, either one a misunderstanding of what he was trying to say or just an attempt to try to tarnish anything that comes out of the uh, senior council court's mouth as it relates to this particular issue because they don't want to deal with it and so the best thing to do is to say that he is trivializing slavery and you put all of it under the, under the carpet apologies there very very <laughs> very uh, well said tabby um on the other side of that uh we saw in village voice quite recently as well uh, lincoln lewis who we just talked about um, whose family have been deprived of their um, ancestral lands there at Kingley, 
He said that these boys in the PP, they're not really interested in reparations. As a matter of fact, he said they were the ones who orchestrated this protest of the Gladstones at Chelly Jackson International Airport when they arrived. Here is a family, as you said and articulated, Tabby, who wants to make right. You know, they weren't the ones who um, practiced slavery. You know, they're trying to move away from what the PP wants to do. You know, apologizing on behalf of their forefathers for being involved in slavery and actually wants to contribute in a meaningful way to moving the process forward, reparations and all of that, you know. But the people don't want to turn up, right, to the um, apology that happened at the University of Ghana campus because they said one of the reasons why, because they wanted it to be held at our Trump conference center and all kind of frivolous, foolish reasons. The point that um, Lincoln Lewis is ma making, the veteran trade unionists, is that when you look at all of these things together again, you see this narrative. It's the PP say one thing, but the actions far removed from what they're saying. The two don't marry. <clears throat> and you see, Shara, this is this is so accurate. And that is the, the, the issue I was alluding to earlier. That when I actually was at the airport um, to drop someone off, and I passed and I saw the uh, the signs of people and they're protesting now trying to figure what exactly are you protesting and i was reading the signs it didn't make any sense until later that i understood that the glassstone family was actually coming in on that flight and so the people were protesting and the the the, the placards were saying um some things that to me didn't add up to the reason why the glassstone family was actually here so i was trying to understand why it is that they were told that they should be there protesting and the fact that Lincoln Lewis is saying that it came from the PVP is an interesting um, uh, is, a, is an interesting thing because it means that they are trying to make the issue bigger than what it is in the sense that the, the Gladstone family came to deal with their um, forefathers' uh, uh, engagement in slavery and the persons were there placarded, what about the indigenous people um, uh, go back home, the pittance that you bring in is not enough. The people didn't say how much money they were going to give or what they got. And so I could not understand it, but it's as if they were trying to trivialize. They were trying to trivialize the nature and the 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 the, 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 the weight of what the Gladstone family came to do um, by these particular protests. And and it, it says to me that they're really not serious because if you understand what the family had to go through to reach the point of deciding you're going to come to Guyana one and on the second hand weeks after Tony Blair is here and you don't protest you don't protest you don't carry a people set of people to the airport to protest him about reparations and the fact that he should tell the UK government that they need to um send some money to it shows that you're being particle and uh, and just um contemporary in your issue where reparations are concerned Tabby, they are hypocrites they are hypocrites you will get a higher um audience perhaps than former prime minister tony tony blair then put the case of tony blair they talk about climate change you see they talk about labor they talk about creek water everything else on the sun but they want to talk you know they talk reparations right tony blair i was prime minister of of england of the uk you know, the country that was our formal, uh, former colonial masters. And you could have sent a strong word. You know, so Blair, when you go back there, tell, tell, um, tell Charles, tell King Charles, X, Y, or Z. Right? This is our position on, on the matter. But no, you see, they want legitimacy on the world stage. So anybody, you know, former or present or, or current, who offers them a glimmer of that, yes, that's what they're going to use. You know, they so want that, right? Why, why, Jack, you needed to be in a meeting? Why, why, why? Right? Overshadowing Ali. Right? Ali stand up there like the, what, like the assistant water boy. Right? Why you needed to, to be there? Again, the, the, the clamor for this attention on the world. Anything that says, oh, they're part of this, um, of the international stage of leaders, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. Far removed from it. But they're going to beat down on the Gladstone. We're actually trying to make a difference. Exactly. You know, and to apologize for the family's history, um, being slave owners and owning plantation and all of that. You know, that is a that is might be a huge step forward, but it's a step in the right direction. 
Yeah, but Charlotte, as as a an individual, sometimes we know how how hard it is for us to apologize for something that we would have done. Your own self, you know that you did something and you have to go and apologize. And sometimes it's difficult for you to to do it. Imagine a family recognizing something that their four parents did. They didn't do it. Their four parents did it, and they also recognize that they may be benefiting from from from, from the atrocities of slavery. And so they have, as a family, decided that not only they're going to apologize, but come to the location, come to the location of the atrocity, look the people in the eye, the ancestors, and say, well, you know, we are we are apologizing for the role our family played in this. And so I, I think it is a, is, 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 a, is, a, is a trying to trivialize it and not recognizing the importance of it, not saying that it was all that is necessary, but we also have to understand that it is a step in the right direction and that now we have to move forward. And so all of the attempts by the PVP is, as you said, just hypocrisy. Yep. Ali choked. Ali choked. You know, the day before the people give the apology, this is the Gladstones, give the apology at the University of Guyana or Alma Mater, Ali put out a video statement, you know, looking all crazy. He choked. You should have gone there. And what a better sight it would have made to, on the sidelines of that very event happening, you you put out that statement. Again, as the University of Guyana, as the backdrop. You know, they don't understand aesthetics, symbolism, and all of that. He Sharon, Sharon, a powerful statement. It's it, because it, you he know? went to University of Iflo. You know, perhaps that's why he didn't want to set foot on the campus because he knew he fell out in second year. Yeah, he said that Eugene fell out in second year. Never went back. And then you come to tell me you got a PhD from someplace. And the man that supervised you, PhD, is a man working for you now at goal and all kind of people are so corrupt. So corrupt. But you want to uh, come around these people funny. You know, nobody hugging up and meshing up to the glass too. But there, there can be principles in what? Even in this process. It's not an easy process to get through. Right? And then you're coming from, you know, as, as we talked before about um, about them trying to put this thing on rise here about trivializing slavery. Coming from the people who say that Africans came here for better men. You know, it is rich. Yes. Coming from them, rich. Coming from them. I you know, know, and I believe what um, the veteran trade unionists are saying here, they're not interested in reparation. They're interested in photo ops. You know, that is very in keeping with who they are. Very, very in keeping, Gabby. Yeah, photo yeah, ops. They're interested in photo ops and some other things because it was, they were trying to push it away from just reparations from for the African Guyanese people to try to broaden it. Um, and that's a different sort of conversation that was not, you know, not, wasn't ready for that particular time. Um, and you see, it's, and that is how you know where people actually stand on an issue. Because when it actually comes to the realities, like for example, Lincoln loses his family. Um, I'm even being told now that they are, um, they are they are trying to take away lands uh, that are ancestral lands at the back of Pleasance. Um, I also I don't know if I may be incorrect that the uh, the lands that the, that the current vice president is on allegedly may also be um, ancestral land. So I have to confirm whether that is accurate. And so when it is that it comes to the reality on the ground. They can speak a good um, talk about about how they're in favor of reparations and they're in favor of um, equality and all of those things. But the reality on the ground, people know that all of that is a farce and it's just very hypocritical. And so I think uh, I want, as I said before, kudos to the to Eric Phillips and to Paloma Mohammed for um, uh, ensuring that the the Glassstones were able to. Uh, to be a part of the ceremony at the University of Guyana and they were able to apologize and to state quite frankly that uh, it's not just an apology but they are willing to work with the University of Guyana and work with the reparations committee to determine how best they can be of assistance to the um, to, to, to the to the African Guyanese community um, given their uh, history um, in this particular country. And so it, it, I, th I think uh, it is a step forward. And in spite of um, the government's approach, uh, the fact is that the Gladstones are not going through the government, which is a, that which is, which is a good 
a good place to start that they've recognized that maybe going through government may not be in the best interest of the African Guyanese population. And so we will wait to hear from Eric Phillips um, how it is that we we'll proceed um, given all that has been done. And I know conversations started before they got here and uh, continued while they were here. So uh, we will continue to hear from Eric Phillips as to the way forward as it relates to uh, um, the Gladstones and their um, what they're going to be doing in Guyana to support the projects and so of African Guyanese in their communities. So that's where we're at at this particular point, Sherrod. Uh, we are at the nine o'clock hour, but yeah, we still have ten are. minutes. That's where we are. Tabby, uh, since 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 um since um since that time, <laughs> we're at that time. I'm I'm happy to announce, folks, uh, that while we were on breakfast, has 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 joined me. It's a lovely food, something. It's a mix-up protein, yeah. <laughs> but it's lovely. You know, I really want to say thanks, Sabi, to my host of this. And they have made sure that my, my sojourn here, you know, my sojourn here has been has been worthwhile. You know, I don't know what's in this cup, this glass. We don't drink from cup. <laughs> when this glass. <laughs> but it tastes fantastic. Maybe they will let me know. And Sabi, since I came here, let me put this off to the side. Since I came here, I discovered this, um, this, this, um, I, I don't know what's the name of it. The word name, you know, we can name it. It's a taste. This egg thingy. Now, this is egg and spinach. Okay. And some other things. Tabby. Spinach here is called a loo girl. Don't think. <laughs> it's called, it's called a loo. All right. <laughs> While we were sitting away, call a loo. I think this is from Star Starbucks here. I think. Yeah. This from Starbucks is egg and kalu, and they managed to put it in this very um, what do you call this? It's a presentation for me. You see, it tastes lovely. I enjoy it. The people realize I like it and just bring it set. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your so, breakfast. Those of you who are fair with Starbucks, with proper Starbucks, ring along, line and so on. Right? You can let me know. <laughs> but it's egg and spinach and some other seasoning and so on. Fantastic, soft and moist. It looks so very, very soft. I love it, love it, love it. And whatever I'm discovering this this morning, this fruity thingy, right? Eating healthy, folks. Eating healthy. I was quite surprised. I was quite surprised, Tabby. I was stung by Starbucks the other day, and I was eating this sandwich. This says, I said, I can try this spinach. You know, you grab a look at the papa and so on, and try the little. I was surprised. I said, I'm waiting for the spinach still because I seen Kalalu here. I know Kalalu when I see it. Do Karo be funny. <laughs> yeah. Kalalu in reinvented, girl. Spinach. It is lovely, though. It was egg. And, and the color wasn't even like steamed. It was just the washed and, you know, freshly prepared and so on. Just like that. I never had Kalalu in my life. You know? But what are you going to do? <laughs> Open to new things. What? Open to new what? things. Once it tastes lovely and you love it, that's 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 good. That's good. At least um your hosts are trying to keep you healthy. Oh yes. That means that they're not the ones that are making you eat unhealthy. That no, means no, it's, me. it's all me. I give you that. It's <laughs> all me. I discovered um I discovered this thingy called um let me see. Um I can't remember the name. It but it's ice cream, proper ice cream, proper, you know, and Oreos, they mix it in nice, girl. It's an Oreo nice. Sunday. Peace of heaven right there. Peace of heaven right there. I went up to um, a, a festival over the weekend. Um, this is um, North Carolina. Anderson, North Carolina. Apple Festival. Everything Apple. Everything. Apple pepper, apple pie, apple drink, apple smoothie. It's all Apple. I never knew you could do so many things with Apple. It's Apple country. That's where a lot, that's where a lot of the apples come from, probably. Yeah, apple country. You know, it used to be something with Christmas. You used to only see apple at Christmas. You all remember that? And we never yes. used to see apple. Apple, we, 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 we chop up the first part recently. You used to be, have to, you have, you have to have your ice apple. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have your ice apple at Christmas. You all not and of course. Of course, it's not Christmas if you don't have your Danish cookies. You know, and you got a little, um, you be far to playing in the background there. Nice time. <laughs> 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 oh, <geez. laughs> you know, um, Gavin Liverpool said, Yes, Gavin is right. Gavin said, Apple and Apple. It was Apple, Apple Festival. Yeah. You know, all different mechanicians with Apple iterations, 
of I never knew you could do so many, so many things with apple, apple stew, apple rice, you know, apple is the side, apple is the main course, apple is the dessert, everything apple. Sure, this sounds like if you tasted everything. Yeah, uh, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. The earth stabby, let me hit you this for the HS, is the large and the fullness thereof. <laughs> <laughs> Having a fantastic time, though. <laughs> Having a fantastic time. That's a good man. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Elizabeth says, Elizabeth says, correct me, it's Hendersonville, North Carolina Apple Festival. I said Anderson. Oh. Henderson, H. H. Hendersonville, North Carolina. What's fantastic. Had a lovely time, you know. Take one for the team, the two. A couple, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Forbes, what? Medusa, we see you there. Lynette Zephyr. Elizabeth says apple butter tabby. You ever heard that? Apple butter. That's interesting. It was I a... guess you can butter anything though. <laughs> apple sugar, everything apple. You know? Speaking truth to power, we see you there. Ainsworth, Mason, we see you there as well. All the other folks who are joining us. I really want to thank my, my host for going above and beyond and making the stay um enjoyable and, and uh, enjoyable is to say to put it lightly yeah i just am finding a better word you know i'm enjoying myself bigly to, Big. to, to use a trump word right enjoy myself bigly good so good to see all of you on the live tabby thank you for being here with us we see edward brooms is here too and donna joseph a lot of other folks joining us across social media over 1100 persons watching us Randy Cole, I'm sending you an address shortly, Randy. I'm sending you an address shortly. Good to see Randy Cole on the live. Randy, thank you for your generosity. Folks, we have said that we want to move in a certain direction. And we spoke about the drone shortly the other morning in the program. And folks are still reaching out to help us. And I want to thank all of those. You know, we still, um, we have what we need. But if we get some of the peripheral things, it's going to help us a far way too. So I want to thank folks like Randy and others. Um, who have been so instrumental. Um, Randy, we see you there. I'm going to send you that address shortly. I'm going to try talking to you later on in the day as well. Edward Brooms is here too, Tabby. And um, Lettel Preck is here. Precious Queen is here too. Um, I see Beryl Crawford is here too. Uh, Beryl is a lovely name, you know. Um, yeah. Beryl is that a mineral uh, of some sort? Beryllium. You know, Sandra Hanover is here too. Carol Rollins is here. Beautiful folks on the live. Kyle Bino is here too. Isabella Butters, you know. Isabella smooth like that. With butter in your name, you must know. <laughs> you know, you come with your own smoothness. Isabella Butters is here. You know, got a little of her every day. Goes a long way. Pansy Rich is here. I want friends like Pansy. When you got rich in your name, you got it like that. You know, Charles is here too. Charles Humphrey, the rest of our guy, and all the other folks uh, joining us this morning. I want to say thank you guys so much. Davi. Yes, thank you guys for um, consistently joining and being a part of our <laughs> morning program. Sure, I'd like never see Compasino. <laughs> I'm going to eat it very, um, in a very dirty manner. So I want to start here. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to talk afterwards. Yes, but guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Have a, um, please stay safe and um, look out for those who are not looking out for you. And until tomorrow morning, uh reach those goals uh set those uh, goals for yourself and reach them even though sherrod is not uh exercising we'll keep on him until he starts so at least he you has a healthy exercise with me right now <laughs> that's I, back. Home, I can pick her back <laughs> somebody you know, says sherrod you exercising get exercising out here and you're seeing all this fantastic food yes you know it's that's like torture yes i understand, right? I understand. so i give up and i give in and i give out <laughs> When you come back home, you'll make up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I come back, right? When I come back. If and when. I see Joe King is joining us from uh, Toronto, Canada. You know, Tabby, I heard Toronto is wonderful. But you know we don't go no place. We don't have an invitation to. Right? The Georgians invited us. We're going. Right? We can see if we can fly Tabby out in a charter, a private jet and so on. Um, so, hint, hint, Joe. Um, we don't go no place we didn't invite you to. <laughs> you know? Over the weekend, a friend called me from, um, from London, uh, had me talk to one of the former mayors there in London, who is guy in one of the mayors from one of the places in, yes. in England, in the, in yes. the UK, uh, who is Guyanese, 
and of course extended a very generous invitation i've never been to the uk and would love would love to go so we can be traveling yeah don't worry <laughs> as long That's as we good. get invitations we never go where we're not needed no 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 we don't do that <laughs> Excellent. Well, I um, hope you hope you have a great time when you get to Georgia, and um, and, and and England. That's 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 soon or that's late in the year. You have to be very careful with England. You got to yeah. when it's, when it's Barbados warm. too. I've been asking. Uh, really? Anthony okay. Leon asking what about Texas? Here, everything big in Texas. You know, everything larger than life in well, Texas. That's not far. You can hop over to Texas once. Yeah, in hop and skip and a jump. <laughs> <laughs> and in Texas, we want to be in Washington too, you know. And in a couple in a couple of weeks, we want to be in Washington too. Very important conference happening there, causing a lot of a lot of angst and angst and anxiety in certain camps. We want to be part of that too. Um, Dolly Anderson, we see all of you. fantastic folks and the hour has gone. Um, folks, we have to let you get on with the rest here. Believe it or not, we really <laughs> right? Tabby, thanks for joining. Tabby, I was telling the folks that. You know, your mother and wife and um, you're, you're in the church too, um, among other things. <laughs> and so your days are getting back to normalcy now with some of, you know, behind us and you'll be with us few and far in between. Yes. But we're grateful. Whatever we can get, we take having doses than not have you at all. <laughs> I, I will try to keep, keep it. It wouldn't be as um, every day, but we'll try to work with a schedule. Um, so I can at least be with, with you at least a couple of days a week. Pace um, and power. You work better. Pace and a little bit of ta a little tabby is better than no tabby at all. That's a mantra that we live by here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but good to have you, Tabby. Thanks for being good here with us here. the past few days, making the burden lighter. You know, the more no of us problem. having to lift it up, you know, the better. Folks, please continue to support our program financially. You know, we can't do it without you guys. All of our platforms are still available, Zell and PayPal. Uh, cash app and all of that good stuff still available and we do have features too if you want to contribute if you have a debit card or a credit card we can shoot you guys a link if you message us on whatsapp we shoot you guys a link and you can be part of that as i said we're still getting some of the peripheral stuff for our drone um we did the unboxing the other morning on the program you can go back uh, i think it's monday show um yesterday show monday. yesterday show for that um the unboxing of the drone and take a look at that but we're still getting some profile stuff we need an extra battery for instance or two um so what little knickknacks and so on but thanks for all of those who've been part of um us having that drone in our hand today we better off for it thank you guys thank you tabby and all the other folks you have the last word tabby you go ahead. just i just want to say bye have a good tuesday and we'll see you back tomorrow morning all right that's it stay safe